Hey YouTube, Madam Roy back again. Back to you with another cooking video. As most of you guys probably remember, I purchased this uh, roasting rack at the uh, thrift store last week. And I've been itching to try it, and I decided to go ahead and roast an oven stuffer. Right here we have an 8 pound oven stuffer that's been cleaned. Uh, I removed all the giblets and all the junk from inside. And I'm going to go ahead and cook this on the grill. Um, I'm going to try and get as close to 350 degrees as I can. Since this is an 8 pound chicken, it's going to take about two and a half hours to cook. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I like to put on my uh, chicken, just for seasoning. I like to use a little bit of the Lowry Season Salt, some of the original Spike. You guys have heard me talk about this in the past. Some onion powder, some garlic powder. Uh, we have some just regular pepper, and then I have a uh, thing of this Kendall Farms chicken broth. Now I'll show you why I'm going to do that in just a minute. Um, I have this little roasting pan because I'm a little concerned that the chicken might get dried out. I'm actually going to go ahead and put some of this chicken broth on the bottom here, and then the rack is going to sit right in here with the chicken vertical on there, and it's going to go ahead in the grill, and hopefully the chicken broth will go ahead and keep that from drying out. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and preheat the grill. All right. Oh, I can feel the heat already. All right, let's go ahead and prepare this chicken. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and try to get this chicken on here. And if it, you lose some of the juices, that's fine. So they're all going to go into this pan anyway, which we're going to save for later. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now, go ahead and take some of the Lowry's seasoning. Now, because it's vertical, it may be a little hard to get it all to stick, and that's why you got to kind of pat it every once in a while. Get some of the spike here. This spike is good for pretty much everything. It's got, like I've said in my other previous videos, it's got like 40 or 50 different spices on it. Sometimes you have to bang it because it is organic and it will uh, kind of just get all stuck together inside. Do a little more of the Lowry's on the back here. We have a little bit of garlic powder. I'm not going to do a lot of garlic powder. I'm, just, I'm not a big fan of garlic on chicken. I like it on pretty much everything else. But I can take it or leave it on chicken, but everybody else in the family likes it, so we'll go ahead and do that. And of course, we cannot forget the uh, onion powder. You can see I'm not really worried about being too even because it's all going to kind of settle anyway. And if the powder gets in the bottom, that's fine. That's just going to add some flavor to the juice towards the end. Next, we have our chicken broth. And I will say this, these are not the easiest things to open. I just wind up pushing it through. You want to fill it up maybe about halfway because you got to remember when this cooks the chicken juice is going to go ahead and drain down into that and add to the chicken broth that's already on the bottom so you don't want this to overspill halfway through and make a mess on the bottom of the grill. So we are all ready. Let's go ahead and stick this thing on the grill. All right. So I have the grill preheated right to about 350. It's never going to be exact because this is a grill. I don't have exact temperature control. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, chicken on here, get it as close to the middle as I possibly can, and I have removed the top rack to give extra clearance. I'm absolutely hoping that this will close. We're going to go ahead and try that right now. Well, it's not going to close all the way, but that's okay. It's closed enough to where it's still, I think it'll still cook properly. We're sitting at right about 350 degrees right now, so I gotta go ahead and let this go for about two, two and a half hours, 
and then I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes. As you can see, I'm hitting right about that 350 mark there. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the chicken because I do want to baste it a little bit. Ooh, look at that, guys. Doesn't that look awesome? Let me go ahead and try to suck up some of this juice here. Remember, it's very important to keep this moist, especially in the grill. Because, you know, when you're in an oven situation, you have a better seal. Try to get some juice down there. But yeah, I'm actually very pleased the way this is looking. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this cook a little bit before I check it again. Probably about another 30 minutes, but I'll go ahead and continue to baste it to make sure that it is moist and delicious. Alright, chicken's been on there for two hours and the little uh, popper popped on it. So I'm going to see if this is actually done. The best way to do this is just to cut in and see what we look like here. Uh, oh yeah, she is cooked to perfection. Get you guys in for a close up there. Check that out, guys. I mean, she looks delicious. Nice golden brown. Uh, I'm glad I added the extra chicken broth because I have plenty to make gravy with now. Uh, I got to finish the rest of the dinner. We're having all gratin potatoes and uh, squash with it tonight. So uh, let me turn that around so you guys can get a better look at the front here. Look at that. So I'm going to call this a success. The first time I've ever actually grilled a chicken. And boy, does it look delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed this little grilling video. I'm going to call this Grilling with Matt. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.